Hi, everyone. Mike Nelson here. Hey, I'm sporting a mustache for the very first time. I'm a little worried about how Tom and Crow are going to react. Hey, Mike, a new mustache. Hey, it looks good. It really does. You think? Yeah, it's great. It looks good. No kidding. Yeah. Well, well, that went well. We'll, we'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, it's, it's a look that challenges people. Good for you, Mike. Yeah, it says, I look like this and I don't even care. I say go, man, go. Oh, yeah. oh, well, great, thanks. Uh, we'll, we'll be it right back. It gives you a sort of Howard Sprague elan. Yeah. Oh, only not so overtly macho. Oh, yeah, an unqualified success. So long as no one looks directly at your face. Right, right, right. Right, well, we'll be right You've back. You've declared your contempt for the world. Go get him, sport. <laughs> yeah, you've given me the confidence I need. You know, I'm going to go get a big, stinky, spiral-cut ham and staple it to my top lip. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back. Yep, get used to hearing the screams of small children and the elderly. Mike's <laughs> mustache to world. I hate you, and I'm cutting myself off from all human contact. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's nice. Wow. I never noticed, Mike, but your upper lip is huge. Yeah, you look like a bowling ball with a slit in it. You could ski down your nasal labial trough. Oh, good. Very clever. Done? Oh, yeah. sure. Okay, good. Can we check in with our evil captors, then? If you want. You know, you might want to consider a mustache. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wake up! What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm Buddy. Oh. I'm Scooter. And I'm Darlene. Oh. And we're space children. Oh. oh, children, yeah. That's right. And we're lost and hungry. Oh. And why? Because we ran away. Oh, well, aren't you just the most delightful little <laughs> thing? <laughs> it's funny. Oh, I know, I know, I know. You can oh. be our new mommy. Oh. Hold on. Oh. I ain't going to be nobody's mommy. Oh. OK, you can be our new grandma. Oh. Don't oh. you oh. ever oh. say Again, capiche, all right. Here's here's some clove gum and a church key now scram. But but we're hungry. And I'm scared. Oh, can't they stay, Grandma? Don't push it, Bonzo. Oh. Brain guy, make some traffic for these brats to play. Right, right. Now you've made us mad. We'll make you be nice. It's true, oh, oh, oh. They have powers far greater than my own. We can do anything. We're oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, Nelson, oh, oh. do something. Oh, oh. Man, we gotta work these kids. They could be our ticket out of here. Yeah, use psychology, Mike. I have all the right books here. Dr. Spock, Brazelton, The Great Santini. Uh, Mike, I suggest reverse psychology. Tell them, don't not send us the movie that doesn't exist. Yeah. How, how about uh, guilt and shame? They worked on me. No, 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 Mike. Kids are fragile, but they need structure. Be firm but fair. Then offer them money. Nah, just tell them we'll take away their pagers and their big pants and I don't know what else. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've got it. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Uh, hi, kids. You know, we've always been there for you, working so hard to provide for your future. So don't you dare send us a movie or it'll be the belt for you. Shh, wait, wait. Well, what I mean is um, we'll give you beanie babies and $100 in cake and stuff if you don't send us a movie. And unless you were planning to do the opposite of what we say, in that case, please send us a movie. Unless you were planning to do the opposite of the opposite of what we say, in, in which case we'll, we'll take away your cake and your $100 and we'll tear up your beanie babies. Um, we, we love you. We've decided. Na 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 boo boo, pocket full of groovy. Send the silly satellite and all the crappy movie. Yeah! Ah, Mike, you couldn't raise an earthworm. This was. Oh, we got movie signs. Big dumb squarehead. Group I, I, I. What a solipsistic film. I'm Merle Schreib. I'll pay in any movie for $49.95. Uh, it comes from the Scandinavian Son of Five. Big boys didn't cry. Big boys didn't cry. Mike, I think the voices in my head are a little louder than usual. Hey, a supermodel factory. Bag your own people and save at Super Value. Julia Child, Secret Freezer. <laughs> Frozen bodies, do you have anything you'd like to share with the whole class? Hey, Stallone. Ooh. 
What really happened to Shields and Yarnell? Hooray for the 70s. John Cassidy for president. We want Billy Beer. The Allmaster Testing Grounds. <laughs> hey. Biography. <laughs> we want England Dan and John Ford Coley. Oh, thank God that one policeman's there. He'd be torn apart. You all know what I stand for. Biography. I believe in this country. Well, California? Now, it's I know that may sound corny Cutting today, Medicare? What? But you know why I want to be president? I think it's time that I started paying back this country for some of the good things it's given me. Like biography. Sure. <laughs> We've got problems. Ooh. We're going to solve them like. by standing by the old-fashioned ways that made this country great. Ooh. And that what I promised to you. Um, check the antenna. Oh, and from what I've been hearing the last few what? months, that's exactly what all of you have been waiting for. Mike, I think we're slipping into another dimension. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to give you. We've got two weeks to go. Mm -hmm. So let's go all the way. Tonight on Biography, the story of Julius Caesar. Tomorrow night, funny man Charlie Callis. <laughs> that's our boy. Oh, it's Peter Graves' dad. <laughs> Have Cheryl Teagues in the lead, Shelley Hack second, Willie Ames and Lance Kerwin, and the DeFranco family bringing up the rear. <laughs> hey, I think they're running to Elton John's funeral for a friend. <laughs> oh, please invent the sports bra soon. Let's go. Thank you. I don't know what you've been told, but knew what Dorn can really hold. <laughs> Parts is parts. Apparently, E.E. E. Cummings wrote it. Pablo Cruz concert tonight. Pass it on. Filmed at the Sydney Opera House High School. Dick Sargent? Didn't he play Dick York on Bewitched? Here at Bruce Jenner University. Hi, I'm a chemical engineering student. You know, these are the days when Michael York could open a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Bounce, behave, bounce, behave, <laughs> bounce, behave. <laughs> Sid and Marty Croft, secret training camp. Oh, Mike, I'd like to introduce you to Paulette. Paulette, Mike. Hi, Paulette. Hey, no fair. Rosie took the subway. Regardless of race, black people are not allowed at this university. <laughs> hey, Joe Bob Briggs, track coach. Grade 14 is clear. Clear? There's a bunch of people in back of you. Yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, hey, sit on it, Patsy. No, you don't have to. It was only a joke. Huh? Oh. Wow, they're raising a race of backs. Breaking away to the clonus horror. How could I know Grayson was going to throw a knee? Yeah, but you didn't bet on the quarterback. You bet on the game. Hmm? Well, I say the bet's off. Well, it's not off. It's on. The bet's a bet. What's the bet? Never mind. Just put your helmet on and let's go. What's the helmet? Man, they're tough on the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders, aren't they? Le Tour de Van Nuys. And they're off. The Starland Vocal Band goes on a bike tour. Let's go film tampon commercials, everybody. <laughs> I think you're neat. I like how keen you are. <laughs> um, guys, this is supposed to be the 50-yard dash. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> A little something for the ladies. <laughs> it's missionary position practice. <laughs> Parts the village people horror. The longtime companion Olympics. Winner of the international Jeffrey Games. Saturn, a different kind of car company. Hey, LSD tabs, everyone. Oh, I can't wait to dig into that party sub. It shows no interest in what we're doing. Okay. Ah. A Van Patten family reunion. This is not sanctioned, gentlemen. You're doing this on your own. Hey, why is Gilligan there? <laughs> well, their life is a constant non-competitive track meet. <laughs> ah, yes, the adult McDonald's playland. George is quite strong. I think he's ready. So do I. Hmm? Do you have his work up? Right here. 
Sam! Professor Darren and Dr. Super Mario Brother. <laughs> I see no problems here. You? All the tests were positive. Or negative, I can't remember which. Tonight, the brilliant career of Dick Sargent on biography. <laughs> Walker, Jameson. It's ready. Your bunt cake is ready. Pop on pop, the movie. Let's go. This is Coco and Studley on the K-Rock Morning Zoo. Get it ready. Terrence McNally holds weird auditions. <laughs> George. Oh, he looks like the monster from Rocky Horror. Excellent, George. Ah. Rooker. Got good news for you, George. Been accepted. Time to get ready. I got into Hamburger U. George, what was that all about? I just qualified. I get to go to America. <laughs> when? Later on. <laughs> Congratulations, George. Thanks, Richard. Come on, I gotta go pack. Okay. And then I gotta get ready to go. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jack Lord. Oh, you got me a plate of drywall. Thanks, guys. I guess this is later on. Apparently. Here at Up With People Farms. Thank you. It's good to know that I have all of you as friends. Except you. <laughs> and I know that soon, all of you will be joining me in America. Blink. For that is the land where good friends live. We're always happy. <laughs> Thanks. Aaron Spelling's Avalon. Yeah, Adam Rich turned out bad. <laughs> Cake. Have you heard from Billy Jack lately? The uh, party died out pretty quick there. <laughs> it's fun when there are things. <laughs> He's just making sure he hates this. I love you, Talia Shire. I should be joining you soon. Well, of course you will. You'll qualify very soon. You'll see. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> I've... I've grown accustomed to you. Like breathing out and breathing in. I've... I like having you touch me. Me too. I like to touch me too. But I can't turn America down. You know that. It's too important. But Shh. it's leaking air. Mmm, you taste like Lickamade. Oh yeah, right. George, it's almost time to leave for America and we have to prepare for your trip, so let's go. Now. Right. Come on, grab all your too tight Munsingware shirts. Bye, everybody. Don't worry, they'll be coming soon to America. Let's go, George. I'll stop at the duty-free shop in America and get you something neat. Bye. I'll miss your white bread blandness. I'll take over from here. <laughs> Will it be all right? Hell no. Of course it'll be all right. He's got the finely toned body of a pro golfer. See ya. Uh, hey. Look, I'm trying to walk away from you. HQ, my hat looks like a muffin. Over. Come in, George. Sit down. We're going to remove all your teeth. Well, George, you look like you're ready to go to America. Yes, I am. How was your party? Good. Dana, Richard, all my other friends were there. Well, George, your party was step number one for your journey to America. But before you actually leave uh, us, there are link. A, yeah, a few little details to be taken care of. Like your death. And drink this. What is it? It's Sunny D. It's step number two of your preparation. Mm. It's delicious hot dog water. I think he's ready to play quarters now, Doctor. Good! Now, George, I want you to play a game. Okay. <laughs> I want you to start it on and count back. Oh, man, I should have studied. <laughs> 100, 99, 98. Oh, yuck, it's turning them on. 96, 95. Oh, I have the vapors. Dr. Luigi will be assisting me here. Standard procedure. Let's get it ready for transference. Yes, maybe needed sooner. Expect. Uh, sir, does he have to be nude for a simple hangnail operation? Subject at standstill. First, we apply sea breeze. I don't think he's a natural blonde, doctor. 
Sam. We're the FDA. We can test on whoever we want. I'm going to remove the dumb parts of you. Sir, I volunteer to put the microchip in his butt cheek. Would you turn down your stupid Brian Eno CD, doctor? I'm testing all temperature. Room service at the Chelsea Hotel. Now, don't fill him with smuckers like last time, doctor. That wasn't funny. Clear. Tire pressure, good. Bay 7, filter, good. I don't know. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, the Starbucks testing laboratory. I'm giving him the Keith Richards special. Gentlemen, we can make him dumber. Blunder. Burbank Hope. Thank you, nurse. That was a nice aria. <laughs> so they took the blood out of his right arm and put it into his left arm. I guess so. Uh, doctors, do you remember if we had an objective for this whole thing? Oh, it's sperm races. Woo. Hey, use a turn signal, jerk. Now, this is just for your trip, so you arrive in America fresh. Please, take this body home with you. No, we won't eat this. I'll bag this up for you. No, I'm not going to eat the whole thing. Now well, they take them to mailboxes, etc. Back in, please. You try scrubbing it out. The real story of Taco Bell. Mmm, <laughs> fresh wood smoked young Aryan man. Um, I, I forgot my toothbrush for America. I don't care for America so far. I wanted paper, not plastic. Oh, some kind of social comment on how we bag and freeze people in America, I suppose. <laughs> They're dying in America today. Hmm. Uh, growing up, Brady, chapter one. Beach Patrol's a bit lost. Malibu Barbie is down. Oh, this is excellent cinematography, Mike. You okay? Yeah, I I'm fine. I think I was just going too fast. I was making upwards of three miles per hour. Oh. You're ugly. What? Your ear. I it's like mine. I just noticed it. Maybe because I just met you. Yeah. Where do you live? Later on. Section 8, the door. This is Riley. Ace of Spies. Two controls accidentally met on rural sector 6. Mm. Please advise. Separate them as quickly as possible. Identify for future uh, deprogramming. Uh, what? What's going on? Mm. Two control plums met accidentally. Control plums? Did he speak? <laughs> yes. This could prove to be interesting. But I doubt it. Cancel your order. We'll... Uh, monitor their interaction. Mm. I think we should just deprogram them. Mm. You won't do anything but monitor them. See how they respond. Very well. Mm -hmm. But if Walker finds out you're changing the pattern, he could get angry. You deal with it. Ah, go eat a mushroom, Mario. Jerk. Well, I'm a lot taller than him. Get me Andorra. Our campus features a low gym coach to clone ratio. Today, a guide was driving towards me. Wow, neat. And he drove all the way around me. It can't be true. Just so I couldn't see what he was carrying. Does that ever happen to anyone else? Can I have your pudding? Hello, is this thing on? Doesn't anyone think that's a little strange? Uh, Bob, you want to move to a different table? Guides may do strange things sometimes. Inside the Rand Corporation because they have to watch out for many things for us. Like what? Like this tuna wiggle recipe. I don't know. Maybe so we don't get hurt. Look, I'm just Scott Bale. It's easy to get hurt. Like when I got my butt caught in the toaster? Yeah, but they're always talking to somebody. There's nobody there. Who are they talking to? Who knows? Eat. Me. <laughs> Sorry. 
Oh, that was a good loose meat sandwich. You want to run me for the class? No, thanks. I'm going to go hem up my shorts a little more. <laughs> Where are you going? Let me cram it, Hal. You weren't interested, okay? Be by myself. Why? <laughs> that guy's the class clown. Love that guy. Rivers belong where they can ramble. Pippin. Yeah. Yeah. He's like a sensitive Steve Gutenberg. Damn kids! Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start a band called Air Supply. <sighs> Have some sun, my little friend. I'm all out of lunch. No. I'm all out of breath. I'm all out of Africa. Um, I don't know. The beer can struggles upstream to spawn. Well, his feet are making a Don Martin noise. Yeah, I gotta get to the can. Oh. <laughs> I find so many neat things here at Love Canal. The little bushman didn't know what to make of the can. Well, uh, snowmobilers must have come through there. I like bugs. <laughs> wow, I guess I got a beer can collection now. <laughs> See, what am I thinking? Uh, duh, that's right. Hey, I wonder how things are going down there for them guys. Yeah, they're probably all sitting around on their butts playing Candyland. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> grandma Pearl, I have to go. I'm not your grandma. Besides, going is for babies. Hey, you moved that. I saw Uncle Brain Guy. Can you back that up, shrimp? Nanny boo boo, you're in okay, a chocolate okay, lake. Okay, I'm in the oh. chocolate lake. My own personal hell. Hey, Uncle Brain Guy, why do you always carry that salad bowl with the wrinkled ball in it? Because I don't like you. And Grandma Pearl, it's your turn. Yeah. Well, Grandma Pearl says it's butt kicking time. Okay, we're having some fun, aren't we, sport, huh? Okay, let's throw Bobo the ball there, huh? You ready? Here we go. Oh! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Happened to catch Tonto Bobo right in the upper thigh. Oh, throw to me again, Tonto Bobo. All right, well, you delightful moppet. There we go. Okay. Uh, burn it in there. Oh, jeez, oh, right in the tender middle. You have fun, Tonto Bobo. <laughs> Tonto Bobo has to go see Uncle Reconstructive Urologist. Oh. Boys and girls, today's film is called Virginity, Your Precious Gift. Ladies and gentlemen, Pat Boone. Welcome to Bewitched a Palooza. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now, who knows what lesson we're going to have today? Yes. <laughs> That's right. But before we have lesson 10, we will offer a sign of peace. Who could tell us about the others? Oh, 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 Mr. Carter! Oh, 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 Mr. Carter! Oh, oh, oh. In lesson number one, we learned about when we were babies. And in lesson number two, we heard about animals. No, that was number three. Oh, in number two, we learned about <laughs> number two. how food is grown and all about our home. Well done. For a total span. Well, now I think we're ready for today's lesson. So just sit back and relax. Now, a tribute to Dr. Bombay. Hey, Darren, down in front. Down in front. You enter America. First, a party with all your friends there to wish you good luck. And Giant farewell. clam! <laughs> Next, you will be escorted by a guide past the door of the round building, the entranceway <laughs> to America. This is the ultimate answer, the ideal. This is what you have all Cast been waiting God's for. Spell. America, the land of beauty, mm. where all your dreams mm. come true. America. For America. this, you have all been trained. Mm. America, the happiness of your new world, forever, forever, forever. Wow. They blew their budget on the echo chamber. 
America not available in some areas. Thank you. We'll now begin the Aunt Clara Symposium. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, are you and Dick York friends? Yes, Richard. Uh, Dr. Jameson, I found something today that I think might be from America. Uh, it was floating in the river. What is it? It's a Gambino, sir. Future anchor man there. Uh, we chipped in and got you this beer. <laughs> this is not from America. <laughs> It comes from the river. I mean, what were you, clone from a sack of doorknobs? I'll just keep it for the museum. But it's mine. Okay, you want to watch Sonny and Sheridan tonight, young man? It just belongs to all of us. Dick Sargent, communist. Ooh. Well, that's it. Good afternoon, all. If you have any further questions, please go to the confessional. Stop that man. He has my can. Dick Sargent is the bionic woman. Find out how this got through the water valves and who in hell was in charge of cleanup. I want them out of here. Mr. York? Mr. York, will you oh, sign this? Mr. Mr. York. Mr. York. Line up to hear Firefall's latest hit. How may we help you? I have a question. I'll hang up and listen. <laughs> what does M I L W-A-U-K-E-E -E spell. Please wait. It spells two ninety nine dollars a case. M-I-L-W-A-U-K-E-E -E <laughs> appears to be some sort of nonsense spelling. Oh, it's Microsoft spell check by phone. Dr. Jameson told me it could be found in the river. What moment, please? Dr. Jameson is a big dumb phony. There is a rare kind of mineral that is called Milwaukee. It can only be found in certain parts of the river. Uh, do you buy that? Can it be found in America? No, it cannot. Is there anything else? Charles Van Dorken. They need better funding for their language lab. Thank you. I'm glad we could help you. <laughs> you get better exercise sitting on a couch. <laughs> Daddy, Rex Street, a lumpy man. <laughs> The go as slow as you can without tipping over race. <laughs> A separate piece of crap. <laughs> oh, hi, Richard. Hey, Richard. Hi, Richard. The rare tree dork. Thanks for the subpoena. <laughs> Parts, the visible panty line horror. Ooh. The Clone Yards of Ernest and Julio Gallo. We're done picking dirt. I guess Bing Crosby was selling hats. <laughs> it says, please help me down from this tree. Oh, a lock of his back hair. Would you like to share a quarter can of watery old mill with me? Oh, it's the refund for my nose job. Good. Tom Can't Jones here. Work. Okay, people, time to harvest more ticks. Bozo Circus is on the end. Hello, I'm Nina. I'm Richard. I'm Richard. I gotta remember that. I'm so bad with names. Uh, the scene was lit by an Indiglo watch, apparently. Kiss me, you feed. Why did you ask me here? Because I wanted to talk to you. Hmm? The first day we met, I knew there was something different about you. There is? You know what it is? Your eyes. They're so alive. Your nose, so truncated. You know, I noticed the difference, too. I mean, you're not like my friend. You're more icky. Yours like mine, Richard. Why? I don't know, Lena. I asked the confessional and just said that it was all part of the plan. Like Dan Fogelberg said. Yeah, me too. Hey. What? It's getting a little cold. How about some firewood and a fire? Mmm, she burns good. How long before you leave? Later on. In America? <laughs> oh, I don't know. What's your head? No one knows. We go when it's time and when we're ready. Yeah, that's what they tell us constantly. Where do you work, Lena? I work in the art strip. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like it. It's nice. I like the man Gives me time to write. Write? Yeah, I write my thoughts and my ideas. I've already filled a post-it note. In fact, this was my special place for writing. 
It was. I'm not listening. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Oh, come on, Lena. Don't be like everyone else. You can tell me what's wrong. Richard, we are not supposed to be talking like this. They tell me it was not important. What's not important? My gosh, you're ugly. His name was Adam. And we met in Cop Palm 4 when we were 16. When I had a nose. <laughs> you know, he was beautiful, Richard. Not like you. His hair was like the sun and his eyes were green. No, he really was beautiful. <laughs> there, there, there was this thing one time. I saw it. Boy, it was really neat, it's too. <laughs> I've never heard anybody talk like that before. Oh, I'm sorry, then I won't... No, go on. I love it when you talk about your other boyfriend. Well, he was a friend. And uh -huh. we were in love. Right. And when it came time for him to go to America, we asked if he could stay. Oh, sure, sure. I said no. And uh -huh. we asked if I could go, and they said no. And finally they said he didn't have to go at all. Uh-huh. And? And he disappeared. Hmm? No one knows anything, not even his roommate. Well, let's crack the Pringles. What must be, must be. Did you get tired of hearing that? They're at Est Camp. <laughs> What's wrong? I've never heard anyone say that. I mean, I've thought of that. Uh, I think. But I've never heard anyone say it. Everyone here believes in what must be, must be. Richard, stop. We're not supposed to be talking like that. Why? There's nobody within miles of us. I used to agree today. You know you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Lena? I love it when you laugh. Boy, if only you had a nose. I like you. You got skin. I like you. Uh, oh, look at that. He's really feminine hands. <laughs> um, shouldn't we wrestle and slap each other now? I gotta go a little easier next time. You know, right before I met you, I found a piece of metal. And it had a word on it. Only you can prevent you know, groin fires. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. And I asked wow. if it came from America, and they said no. Hmm. And then I asked the confession. And it said it was a plant from the ocean. She really was on top of old Smokey, huh? <laughs> you know, when I was a little girl, and I lived in the north section, I saw something. Wow, that's what amazing. Well, one day I was out playing, and I saw one of the guide cars. Honey. And there was something there that was covered. So I was curious, and I peeped. And? She looks like Henry Silva in a wig. I saw one of the older members. It was very still. She fell asleep on a dermabrasion wheel. I asked the confessional what it meant, and they said he was asleep, that sleep was very important. But I'll never forget how odd it looked. Do you like paper? We gotta find out. No. I'm frightened. I am too. But something's not right. Unanswered questions, Lena, have to be answered. Richard, no, please. I am frightened. You don't understand that. It'll be okay, though. Come on, let's put out our flaming crotches and we'll find your nose. Hey! Trust me. After all, I look like the guy on Three's Company. Okay. Is your face made out of clay, or...? Now let's help Jack and Chrissy move that couch. <laughs> oh. Oh. Des Moines Olympics are kind of a letdown, aren't they? Richard, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm just a puss. I see. Uh, well, you slowed down. I thought maybe it was your ankle or something. No, I just slowed down. Well, I don't understand. You can't just slow down. When you're in a race, you have to win. Hmm. Why? Why? What kind of a question is that? I'm just your time-life operator. Well, why get involved in a race at all if you're not going to give it all you've got? Is this an after-school special? <laughs> I gave it all I wanted to give. I just didn't feel like winning. I'll have to report this. To who? To the Council of Loser Clones. I'll have to report that, too. Well, it's starting to stack up. Can I go now? Sure you can go. Yeah, report my ass. This is one of the 12 Steve Prefontaine movies being released this year. It's great. Crotch fires and you. Um, um. Let's see. Jake Cardigan pulled his hovercraft. Mm. Mm. Did I finish those cheese curls? Mm. I'm coming, Elizabeth. I'm coming. Elizabeth, I'm coming. Feels like an elephant clone is sitting on my chest. 
the James Garner story. Oh, beef, it's what's for dinner. Oh. Hi, we're your heart attack consultants. Let's get you out on that track, young man. Oh, please be careful of my chalky, spongy midsection. On Tuesdays, you get extra prints for free. God, the human body is hideous. Hmm. Well, I can't see anything. You're dull and lumpy inside, too. What did it feel like? It felt like, uh, like a burning sensation in my chest. Well, Richard, did you make a run for the border earlier today, or...? Uh, are you sleeping okay? Sure, fine. It just happened so quick, I don't know what it is. Have you been eating your boogers? Let me ask you, Richard, do you, uh, spend a lot of time in the country? Or, uh, down by the river? Mm. No. Why? Oh, no reason. It's just that the air by the river is not really very good for you. Uh-huh. We just thought it might have something to do with it. Yeah. Am I dead? Well, what do you think it is? Oh, just a little attack of the nerves, I guess. After all, you probably excited about going to America. Today! What? Yes. You're scheduled to go in two days. We traded you to Cincinnati. We were going to wait, but uh, you've been progressing so well, we're letting you go early. Jeez. Isn't that nice? Ugh. Great. Yeah. So, why don't you go and get some sleep, all right? Take these pills. Just before you go to bed, I'm sure you're not going to have any trouble at all. Could I bring my bike to America? Okay. Uh, nice gal. Well, did you hear enough? Line. He looks like an adult fetus. They found my nose. The tight shorts clinic has been so much fun. I'm so happy to see you. Alan and I are getting married. Isn't that great? Lena, we're being watched. Mister, what are you talking about? I tried a test last night. I pretended I was sick when no one was around. We are being watched. Mister, why would they watch us? For what reason? I don't know. Maybe to see if we do that rubbing thing. Let's go pray at the Shrine of Dolly the Sheep. Are you going to Bobby's America party? Lena, there's something strange happening here that we're not allowed to know about. I know. Richard, ever since you and I met, the guides look at me strangely. Did you see the way they looked at us when we first met? They got angry. Speak to the confessional. I don't get any answers from the confessional. I think the only place I'm going to find any answers is America. Today! And I'm gonna try and get there tonight. Or today! But Richard, you're not qualified. Look, I saw the guys. They took they took George up to the building on the hill after his party. Huh? I think that's a good place to start. I'm gonna try and get in. If my SATs are good enough. You and your big nose. So you wanna take your shirt off now, or is it... Lena, I have to go. Mm. I've got to find out. Don't be frightened. I am frightened, Richard. I'm very frightened. I'm never going to see you again. Of course you're going to see me again. I'm going to go to America, find out the answers, and I'm going to come back. Richard, why? Why do you have to go to America? Today! Because I have to find out for you and for me and for everyone else. For the baby I'm carrying? Lena, you can't say anything to anybody. I'll leave you a lump of dough with hair on it to remind you of me. She's trying to start his crotch on fire with her mind. Yeah. Whoa, they're Chuck Berry's ranch. Aren't these stables phony? Yeah, secretary, it's a personal friend of mine. You're in molasses swamp. You're not. Yeah, he's in molasses swamp. You're in molasses swamp. You're in molasses swamp. You're in molasses swamp. You're in molasses swamp. You know me. I'm a patient woman. Shut up! Oh, Mama, do I need a break? I sure could use that old electronic babysitter right now. So could you guys quick whip up a TV show? Maybe one of them public kids shows, you know, educational. You, you, you know the kind of crap I'm talking about. <laughs> ah, Mrs. Forrester, so you need me, and I have all the power. <laughs> Once again, you see, there is nothing you can possess which I cannot take away. Too bad. The Havidos could have warned you. 
If only you spoke Havidos. Hokanda Matusu, Havogai! Oh, would you just help me out? Hey, kids. Satellite of Love is on. Oh, I don't like that show. It's dumb. It's got robots. Robots are dumb. You're dumb. I took the liberty of making some fruit leather. What the hell is the fruit leather? leather? The fruit leather! We'll have fun on the Satellite of Love. Today! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, kids! Hi. I'm Crow the Cow. <laughs> and this is Tommy the Timid Tuna. Right, Aww. yes. Today's letter... A. 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 <laughs> Today's number... Three. Three. <laughs> so today, today we learned A and three. Today we learned A and three. Today we learned A and three. <laughs> I love you. Today we learned A and three. Today we learned A and three. <laughs> Moo. Great, thanks. I'm gonna sneak out and see if I can find a casino on this crummy planet. Muchachos, veanse para la propia bolsa. Rompelo! Yo ahora me gustaría presentarse una letra muy especial. Ah, agua. Agua. Rompelo! Rompelo! Ay, Super Dave Osborne, come to turn down the bed. 807, secure. Proceeding to number eight to read Pat the Bunny. Leave the whole light on. Oh. Well, I'm wet already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get the last of the frozen gladia. Now the director just points the camera at the lamp and trusts the lamp to carry the scene. I forgot to have my nightly glass of cottage cheese. Now he's gonna wake up the whole floor and tell them about that damn can again. Shh, I don't want to wake me. It takes a dork. <laughs> you know, everything's so dramatic with him. He's just going to the laboratory. I'm gonna head to the student union and shake a candy machine till a Clark bar comes out. <laughs> 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 This movie was really a promotional film for UW Stout. No one knew how to hit the shuttlecock. They're all getting Fs. Yeah, I work for the Clonus Project to get free coffee. <laughs> I left my flute in the bad room. Ow! Hi, Richard. Can I just poured myself a cup of coffee? No, 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 Harvey, Harvey. Uh, yeah, so? You talking to me? You telling me to put down my coffee? Look, Ernie, it's clear over on the other side of the facility. Have a heart. I'm gonna free Randall McMurphy. He's a nurse's aide who doesn't play by the rules. Okay, okay, I said I'm coming. This job ain't worth the free puffy hats. I just authorized myself. <laughs> I'm gonna amortize the crap out of some of these spreadsheets. Just gonna change my nutritional chart to include more pop. <laughs> and I think they cloned him from Timer, the cheese mascot. Let's face it, clones are rock stupid. Larry Dallas is the saint. Oh, it might help him at this point if he had an objective of some sort. 
You know, the oh. truth is out there. Oh, yeah, neat. Well, it sure is. Let's see, smoking crotch, smoking crotch, uh, smoking crotch. Right Gotta see if there's hot dog tater bake on next week's lunch menu. Clonus Project seems remarkably disorganized. Yeah, they really need to get online. at war with Eurasia. As soon as I get to America, I'm going straight to Branson. Marty will march into Messina and I'll sweep down from the north. <laughs> yeah, I saw the dead there. I saw the dead there. Yeah, I saw the dead there too. A lipless horror. Now I get it. I don't understand a thing. Darn. Hey, anybody ever been to Milwaukee? <laughs> oh, shh. That's right. Ballroom. Ba -ba 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 -boom -ba -boom. <laughs> Old Milwaukee, Blatt, Hooper, Howenstein, Chief Oshkosh. They'll never know I was here. Security, huh? A very complex security system. This is probably the most interest anyone has ever shown in Milwaukee. Yeah, he's trying to find a map to the original Cunningham House on Happy Days. Camp Reject was developed to house all the losers. Oh, this guy's hideous. Oh, it's me. Thanks to Miss Taylor's fourth grade class for transcribing our secret clone notes. Yearbook staff, two, three. <sighs> they don't need to know this about me. Oof. Maybe the ear clip is to trace his migratory patterns? Yeah. Black helicopter, Roswell, Area 51, Waco, formula for Coca-Cola. Ah, here it is. Parts, the Clonus Horror. Should explain everything. I have been wanting to read this book. Great, someone taped Models, Inc. <laughs> uh, the network's down. Yeah, I tried that. Well, I'm not waiting up. Good morning, Mr. Lump. Each cell in the human body contains two Hi. sets of chromosomes. Hi. It is these chromosomes, one set from each parent, that determine who and how we are. Mom, I'm watching cartoons. They are genetic roadmaps. The process of reproduction finds a sperm cell and an egg cell, Excuse each me. containing a single Excuse strand me, of chromosomal information, joining and reproducing. We've been hit! The cell is complete resulting in a separate organism that shares the traits of its parents. Mr. Mutant and Mrs. Freak. In 1931, we successfully removed the nucleus of a female hey. egg cell and replaced the idea? it with the nucleus I was using of another. That. The replacement nucleus, which contained two sets of chromosomes uh, from the original uh, donor, uh, was then stimulated uh, to divide, uh, uh, resulting in a second organism oh. exact in every respect to the first. And butts were born. This process has come to be called cloning. Uh, uh, Armed uh, with this technology uh, uh, and unlimited funding, we established Clonus. <laughs> Isolated and secure, Clonus is a breeder facility for clones. Secret. Each a unique yeah. duplicate of a counterpart, either domestic or international. And the food? One of the most serious problems encountered was the suppression of individuality. This problem proved temporary as medical technicians learned oh. that through simple lobotomies, oh, these look. clones could be made benign and cooperative. I like mittens. Further research led to the perfection of technique. Well, that was a waste. I didn't find out a thing. Convenient he happened into the Department of Backstory. No one's guarding my father. He's a renegade mime. Okay, uh, I should be in Milwaukee by now. 
Chariots of Puss. Trot. Trot for my life. <laughs> uh, just as luck, he's gonna get killed by Merv Griffin. Dr. Nelson, hold that elevator. I can't, it's too big. <laughs> and he bumps right into Bruce Willis. I think Yoshi parked up on seven. Oh, the water's really good today. You're here early this morning, Dr. Jameson. I had to. Rode in with Andorra. A lot to do. And sending Ride the elevator there. ride at Six Flags over Texas. Oh. 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 Yes, yeah. I think so. Oh. 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 You going to Applebee's for Karen's birthday lunch? I suppose we have to. You know, this is what happens when Otis Elevator sponsors a movie. Hey! Ooh, hey, stop nah, it! Don't do that. Bill Musselman, private eye. This is Davis and Records. There's something wrong we've been busted into. Sound the alert. You know, I hope he never becomes the naked prey. Yeah. You turn the light on. That's why you're my assistant. He didn't fluff! <laughs> I don't care what it takes. We've got to find it and get that tape. <laughs> What they say? What could they say? They'll find it. What are you worried about? It can't get away. It's a map of the shopping district in Des Plaines. <laughs> A member of Moominchance is on the lam. Oh, they're watching the Mondrian channel. <laughs> they may have to rethink their $11 security budget. He's running through fields of wheat. Wheat. Plenty of wheat. Lou Rawls is the equalizer. Kind of a weird biathlon. The bullet caused a kettle moraine. I feel disappointment that I was shot. There, there's the flavor. Let's get our trained gnats after him. Gentlemen, we have a soft, lumpy target search. <laughs> Been hit but not stopped. Set it towards the outer perimeter. Ow! 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 I'm starting to think that Peter Graves didn't invest much time in this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He jumped right into the Soylent Green factory. It's over the fence. Damn! Would you stop playing Pong back there, please? Mr. Texas Ranger? A clone has escaped. Ow! 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 <laughs> Taking a lot of hits. Oh, I'll bet they're filming a truck commercial up there. Look how many times a coyote fell off that. I am Kirok. <laughs> wow, this is one tough hole. Do it. Yes. Jump. 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 Come Jump. On. Do it. Come on. You want to. Jump. Yes. Jump. Oh, I walked right into Golan Heights. <laughs> now, think how many new things there are out there for him to not understand. I'm dreaming about Pep Club. I hope I get the part of Chrissy. You're late for econ. Oh. You will enjoy our free continental breakfast. He blends right in with the dim-witted, overly-armed Southwest. Yeah, the Ravenite Social Club. It's the all-white version of Salam Bombay. This isn't exactly the naked city. It's the clothing-optional city. There's got to be a clone counseling center around here somewhere. Watch, you'll run into Chauncey Gardner coming the other way. <laughs> Hi, Sanford. Hi, son. 
Ah, the arcade's kind of understaffed. <laughs> Don's pinball machine. Ooh, James Galway owns that porn theater. Ah, come right in and enjoy some wholesome porn. <laughs> it's Juan Epstein. Hey, Lionel. Is that Harley Davidson or the Marlboro Man? Yeah. Uh, it's Peter Fonda. Gary Busey. Malcolm Forbes. Uh, this is Unit 2. I'm pursuing. All right, 10 4. This is then came Bronson. Over. Ow. Over. Even though I've never seen one of these things, I'm completely terrified. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Watch it. Big tombstones for the big and tall man. Hey, I, I just want to tell you your zipper's down. <laughs> Hi, how are you? My name's Richard. Can I borrow your bike? Thanks a lot. That's really nice of you. Got to get to the sculpture garden. Pacific Blue Afternoons. Join us for the East LA Fun Ride. <laughs> oh, the garbage ran in front of me. I meant to do that. UPS man down. Ew. What is he doing? Yeah. Stop it. No heaving, thrusting, or splaying. Honey, we got mimes. You're one of them preverts. Hey, fella. Go suck someone else's we garbage. You've been through some really heavy seas. Come on, I'll give you a hand. Trust me, I'm keen in ivory wind. There's nothing to be afraid of. Um, Come on, I'll give you a hand. Uh, Come on, you're all right. Everything is fine. Come on. Talks like Ruth Gordon. <laughs> Come on. Good Lord! Oh, mm -hmm. I heard he had a bike accident. Just give oh. some hot water. Oh, I will. Oh, my gracious. Oh, uh, take him in there. there. Take him in the other room. And... Uh, you know, sit down here. It's perfectly all right. As soon as Tante Kringle gets in here, we'll get started. There you go. Oh, can you help me? They're after me. And I've got to find my part. Oh, hush, hush now, here. I'm just going to pour ammonia in your eye. And I'll talk your leg up here while she's fixing you up. He says I talk too much, but I don't. Oh. You are a hunk of man. You try to get a word in edgewise around here. What is that? What? Right there. What is that? Oh, Jake. That's an earring. They're all wearing them today. That means he's a friend of Dorothy. Will you help me find my other part? Help you find Arvo part? This part you keep talking about. Wow, that is one sexy bun. Yeah, her hairstyle's cute, too. <laughs> 53 hours of AOL. This, uh, this is your father. I see that. I see it. All right, dude. I would like to. Good improv. I don't know yeah. who he is. I only know gold. I'm his clone. Clone? Clone? Now, where have I heard that? Clone. <laughs> oh, I just, uh... Well... <laughs> Jake, do you know what a clone is? I just keep quiet for a minute, will you? I know what it is. I know what it is. Everybody knows what a clone is. <laughs> Honestly, I was uh, reading in the Digest the other day, Think. and there was an article about a Anna, uh, will you tadpole. Just... Look, I broke into the main building. Mm -hmm. I got that paper and and the records of all my friends. You know what they're trying to do? I can prove. They're trying to kill Sonny, Sonny, all Sonny, of Sonny, them. please, just keep it down. All the double wise in L.A., he holds up with the lock Where is it? <laughs> the place. A face inspired by a tuna melt. Ooh, oh, the horror down the street. Ah, sure. I'm Fine. going to help you find your father. Now, I am a newspaper reporter. He's retired. Forced to at 65. I am a newspaper reporter. <laughs> and you don't there. have to tell me right now who shot you. Yes, well, you just leave him be, will you, Jake? Now, let's look at this address. Dean and Wynn is Jack Perkins as Mr. Food. Well, I can tell him how to get there. No, you can't tell him how to get there. You'll go with him right now. Anna. What? If you weren't pregnant, I'd leave you. Oh, don't you think he's made up a <laughs> Won't you take me to find my other part? Won't you take me to find my other part? You will. Will you take me now? Whoa. 
Yeah, I'll take it. Well, at last. If he didn't, he'd never hear the last of it. <laughs> well, why don't, don't sit there? I'm no. going. Don't I have to put on and... the necktie and the coat. Well, yes, what well, the hell? You realize how much I hate you? Hate you. And so it no. and every one of oh, us why? accept the moral implications of our act. Uh, Once we kill the stone club. Richard Harris as Robert Bly. Now we kill with atomic bomb. Period. Paragraph. And erase it all. Are you through yet? My rhetoric bore you? Today? Yes. Every day? What yes. What about the idea of taking today off? <laughs> no dull philosophy for you and no boring <laughs> speech writing for me. You're bored campaigning with your Uncle Jeff? Mark oh. Spitz and Michael Caine at home. Oh, no. no. Oh, 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 boy. Stay. Oh, oh. oh, we found it. This is the horror. Stop oh. it. What have we ever done to you? Will not here, and you try to blind those who cannot see. With your shrink-wrapped batch. That's a good line. Using that in a class? A bad version of prick up your ears. Who's right? Excuse me. I beg your pardon, uh, Mr. Richard Knight? Yes. The neighbors have got together and bought your friend a robe. Is that Richard Patrick Knight? Well, you have the advantage of me. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Jake Noble. Napoleon imitator. I wonder if I could talk to you in private. Well, this is my son, Rick. We can certainly speak in front of him. What is it you want? To cover his parts. Oh, have your other son. Other son? What are you talking about? What other son? The one who was shot. The one who keeps talking about cloners? Oh, look, Mr. Noble, I don't know who you are or what you want, but I've got a lot of work to do, and my son here... He's one of us. Let's show him what he's won. But I don't have another son. Oh, really? Well, then, how do you explain this? I got out of my car seat. Uh, oh, and you need to change me again. What is this, a joke? Are you a clown? Do you amuse me? Another Scott Bayo. Wow. Uh, the guys at the office set this up. Who are you? I'm you, Mr. Knight. Hmm? I'm your clone. Oh, that's right. I ordered one and forgot. <laughs> Don't tell me that. It's dirty. Damn it, why am I paying you all of this money for security? I don't care what it takes. You should get cubicles. If you can't handle it, I've got people who can. Now, I don't have to remind you what could happen to you if that tape got into the wrong hands, do I? No, sir. Well, do I? No, sir. Well, do I? Good, no, sir. I knew you'd see it my way. I thought it was skin cream, but it was Elmer's glue. An ongoing and self-supporting institution of service and research. At Oral Roberts University. Yeah. That's incredible. Well, difficult to believe there's more like it. Will you wipe me, clone daddy? Oh. Get up. What are you doing? Hey. It's true. No. He Don't is a clone. My clone. Uh, uh, like the movie wasn't uh, horrible uh, enough. Someone <laughs> you and created a duplicate. Are you mad at me, clone daddy? The damned if I know. Now, this place you keep talking about, cloners. Is there a bar? Is everybody from there a clone? No, they're all my friends. And then there are the guides and the doctors. And that's all I've ever seen on Clonus. Why? Why Clonus? And who's doing it? Where is Clonus? I don't know. I am confused. Put me in my Johnny Jump Up. I ran. I ran a long ways. And then I came up to the boulders and I looked down and this is what I saw. Well, if he escaped from Clonus, yeah. somebody is probably looking for him right now. Yeah. Jake. Nice roast Were you beef followed and, here? And coarse radish. Nobody oh, was there when I found him. Well, I hope you're right. Do you cry a lot, clone daddy? You better it... proceed as if nobody, nobody else knows you exist or where you are. Professor, you know that tape will blow the lid off of everything? Speaking of, where's the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. Well, what are we going to do with it in the meantime? I'll take it home. You? I'm going to tape golf over it. Well, I know where to keep it. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Rick, is uh, Jeff at home? Sure. <laughs> or out on the boat? Fine. I want to speak sure. to Jeff. Now meet him somewhere. This whole thing is probably sure. something the public is not supposed to know about. Sure. Jeff may have heard of this place, Clonus. 
man can fill in some of the empty blanks. Mm. I don't think so, Dad, because I know just about everything that's going on with Jeff. Uh -huh. Professor, are you talking about uh -huh. the Jeff Knight? Oh. Uh, Senator Knight's my brother. That's very interesting. Sure. Yeah, well, he'll know if anybody will, or he'll know how to find out. Sure. I'm going to try to call him. Well, we're going to go with him, bro. Oh. We're going to take care of everything, Stan. You watch. And they all head into the closet. Looks like you can use some new clothes. Let me get you some. Did your shoulder hurt? Let me get you some bootcut jeans, some mesh cut-off tees, and some tight cargo shorts. Hey. Hey, short-time companion. You look so sad. Everything's gonna be all right. So you're a stupid, hideous, ugly, and repulsive clone. So what? No. Oh. This is not my world. It's a marshmallow world. It's so alone here. Well, there's the Ropers and Jack Tripper downstairs. What? What? Grandma's back, and she had insurance. Rich, hey. <laughs> there he is. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. Thanks for coming. Oh, well, you know, trying to get away from the campaign oh, for a day is... Sorry. Damn. No, I hope Rick's taking a day off, too. <laughs> he sure is. Peter Graves' movie bookend. This, um... Supposed clone you mentioned on the telephone. Is he cute? Where is he? My house, why? He's needed for biography. Well, because this is big. It's, uh, it's really big. It's, uh, is the tape at your place, too? Uh, how did you know about that? I didn't say anything about a tape. Well, I just assumed. Everything's on tape today, yeah. isn't it? No, you didn't assume. You knew, didn't you? All right, draw. Yeah. You saw the tape? Yeah, yeah and it's scary. Adam Sandler's in it. All right, you know part of the story. There is such a project. On biography tonight on A&E. It's still in the experimental stage. It's called Biography on Ice. But the fact that you know about it leaves you sitting right in a keg of dynamite. Oh, hey, I, I remember to watch Biography, Paul Lynn, tonight. <laughs> Climb aboard the monkey business. Donna Rice is waiting below decks. Uh, we have brainstormed a lot of good biographies on this baby. You're gonna find this hard to understand, I know I do. You can't be on biography. The whole thing is about organ transplants. What? That's right, hearts, kidneys, lungs, all of that. Thumbs, elbows, nasal if hair? If person needs an organ transplant, his clone, which is an exact duplicate of him, can provide him one very easily. They use about transplants for who? Well, obviously not for everyone. That wouldn't be practical or economical. Or a Republican. I see, for the select few, those the politicians decide. Why, you, uh, going to create a master race. Say, Rich, consider the possibilities. Now, suppose Einstein had lived. Suppose Churchill or Roosevelt had been able to live for nearly 200 years and still function for the world. Or Stalin. Or Hitler. Yeah, right, exactly. Ever since we were little kids, you've been doing that night on a crusade. <laughs> well, there are things more important. There is the good of the people. The good of the people? What the hell are you talking about? The good of the people. The good, the good of the people. The good of the people. He's been shot. You're telling me that's for the good of the people? Fine, then you yeah. host biography. Using that boy for transplants is premeditated murder. Those people are being kept prisoner for a specific purpose, which eventually leads to their death. What happened to their human rights? What? Well, that's exactly the point. Human rights. Clones are not humans, they're things. They're people. Exactly like us. No, they're not. If it weren't for us, they wouldn't even exist. On biography. You blame God. Jeff, that's wrong. The ultimate intention is to help humanity, Rich. Then why keep it a secret? Because as soon as the word got out, you know what would happen. People would start yelling corruption and evil. Yeah. They'd condemn the idea of immortality as being against the purpose of creation or some nonsense like that. And you know what they'd really be saying? Bite me. Why not me? Why can't I have one? Now, this can't be kept a secret. It's legally and morally wrong. <laughs> What's going on down there, Mike? Well, the kids asked Mrs. Forrester a, you know, a difficult question, so they're having a serious talk, you know, that talk. Ah, Kirk versus Picard, huh? Yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, the, uh, the facts of life. Um, don't you kids get the Spice Channel, or... Uh... <laughs> I, I, I believe it was a mediocre sitcom of the 1980s starring Charlotte Ray. 
him. Anyway, uh, the, the, the real... Now, wouldn't you rather have Tonto Bobo show you how to use a stick to catch some yummy, crunchy termites? Hmm? No. <laughs> okay. okay, here we go, then. Now, when, when, when two brains love each other, they may decide they want to share the same brain pan, as it were. And Every chick for herself. Them's the real facts of life, Cookie. If he wants to dance, he's going to have to pay the band. If he wants to paint the house, he's going to have to buy the enamel. And the primer. And you still might want to consider aluminum siding. Oh, Grim Pearl, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not sure I do either, darling. <laughs> but if he wants to sod the lawn, he's... Yes, gonna... lad, love is kind and tender and delicate. The gentle pleasures of two people connecting in love are many. Love is a sort of gossamer beauty. But ignore it. Thankfully, we've moved beyond that nonsense. Well, now, a really good mate's going to be able to outrun you for a bit, but just grab hold of one leg and hang on tight. You're going to get kicked. That's always part of it. <laughs> and an advanced tool user is probably going to nail you with a few rocks. And there are always rivals to fend off. That's why we have the full charge. Now, I'm going to demonstrate you. Don't worry. Don't be scared. Just watch. Good boy. You'll go far. Uh-huh. If I need another heart, what am I supposed to do? I blew all my biography money, went straight up my nose. That heart operation I had two years ago, the heart came from my adult clone. It's exactly the same as my old heart, only younger and stronger, and without it, I wouldn't be alive today. In fact, I'm not. My new clone is just a baby. Uh, wait a minute. You have two? Clone hog. I plan to be around a long time. And Rich, I am offering you a gift certificate to life, and you turn your back on me. You're my brother and I love you. Do you know the strings I had to pull to get you cloned? Well, how did they clone me without me knowing it? Now, that's easy. All it takes is one body cell. It happened almost 30 years ago during one of your physicals. <laughs> Rich, this is your chance for immortality. You don't have to worry about dying because there is a duplicate of you. And if you don't believe it, go back and take another look at that clone you have. It's been conditioned for 30 years to make sure that you and I stay brothers for a long time. Well, Mom says hi, by the way. Well, I've had my eye on a new spleen. I have to think about all this. All right. All right, you do that. Because there are people who will do anything to make sure this is kept secret. People I can't stop. Uh, Jeff, I really have to think about this. Some of the things you said are well taken, especially <laughs> that last comment. All right, then you go on home, keep him there. That's I'll make the proper right. contacts and come by later. I'll order you up a gross of clones in the meantime. And Rich. Sorry I made you eat paste. Keep it capped. Even I'm expendable if it means keeping Clonus alive. So what happens if your clone is a hard-drinking, hard-living clone? Sorry, we need your liver to keep your clone alive. <laughs> Sail away! <laughs> I want my Teddy Grahams. Where is he? He's asleep and Jake went home. Ah. Uh, sure. What did Jeff have to say? Well, uh, biography continues to do well. He said he'd look into it. He hadn't heard, huh? <laughs> I wet another bed. Uh, well, maybe we ought to call the papers. No, this not yet. Meatloaf sweats less than this guy. Dad, <laughs> we have to help him get back. He misses his girl. He's just like us. Oh, wait, that's not just like no, us. No, he's not. Wow. He's a freak of nature. Did you turn down the heat? It's like 90 in here. I'm just saying that whatever's going on is out of our hands. Can I watch Lion Jeff King again? No, Jeff thinks it's all a ruse. Nothing to get seriously concerned about it. Just something that's both. If you're not going to call the papers, then I'm going to get. I'm calling yeah. Michael Flatley. <laughs> Damn it! What is going on? <laughs> I can't tell you. Honestly, son, please, no, I can't tell you. You turned him in, didn't you? You're getting divorced you because of me. Richard in, didn't you? Sure. No, I didn't. I just talked to Jeff. He told me the whole story. He said, do nothing. He'll take care of it. Uh, so you're not taking me to the Harlem Globetrotters? <laughs> Nothing is to be done, now believe me. Look, I don't know what's going on. I don't know at all what's happening. All I know is you're talking crazy. And I'm the posture prince. No, I'm not. Can't smoke chocolate, I know that now. Maybe because you're young, it sounds that way. 
So when you grow older, there's a definite scheme to think you're born, you run through life, you wear out, you die. You have one illegitimate son. Ooh, so. so, Clonus. Walks into a bar, and he... I don't get it. I'm not done. So Clonus replaces what's worn out. Did I eat all the kaboom, or is there some left? I've created this clone farm. An organ bank, right? What's wrong? With my line read. With wanting to live. Nothing, unless it's you. You murder to do it. If they're not really human. He needs to be damp murder. mopped. Dad, he's a human being. No, he's not. He swallowed he's his lips. Oh. No, I'm just like you are. Isn't that horrible? Die. Hey, a testosterosa. I want to go back. I have to go back. <laughs> I want to help you. No. I just wet your car. Listen, I want to help you get back. I'll lend you my low-rise pants. Trust me. Is this starting to feel funny to you, too? There's a stirring in my little clonus. Oh, why don't you kiss him instead of holding him to death? Now pull your top down and pretend this never happened. Clonus, the boys in the band horror. Uh, it's official, Dad. We don't know what you do for a living. You're gonna have to help us or you're gonna have to kill me. Because there's no way I'm gonna keep quiet about this. There is nothing I can do. It's out of my hands. Didn't I hear you say just this morning that we're all morally responsible for all of our acts? Yeah, you kids with your morals and ethics and your eight-track tapes. Ah, yeah. All right. Or I go. And never darken my towels again. Quickly. Thank you, Sir Dad. I'll take them back while you call the newspapers. I'll do it. Ooh. And son, be careful. Careful. Okay, by me. <laughs> Starsky and clone. Why do I know they're going to listen to BTO? And Abraham drove Isaac to the top of the mountain. One more clone up in the canyon. Damn you. Sorry. As long as they're here, they should have filmed them a cloud. I don't care about anything right now. Just Lena. Well, I can't hear what they're saying, and frankly, I don't sure. care. Huh. Sorry about our pants touching earlier. The clone is tagged and set free in its natural environment. Uh, if you have to take a pee, I'll just turn around. Where am I going again? Bulgarian folk choir. They arrived in limousine. <laughs> well, thanks for that liver, guys. That was really nice of you. <laughs> oh, where's the clean? Mm -hmm. ah. Hey, my clone's doing all right for himself. Door to door biography. I'd like to tell you about the fascinating life of Charles Grodin. Rich, we have to talk. Some coffee for your thugs? Might as well tell us now. There is no backing out. I've already told you. I don't know where he is. And I don't know where the tape is. No, you're lying to me. I'm going to have Barney rough you up. You're not sure, are you? So you might as well tell these gentlemen to kill me. That's what they're here for, isn't it? Rich, I told you there were people that I can't stop. Besides, if you kill me, you're only at a couple new parts, right? The sounds of belt murder. How does that work? Can you do that? Then reprogram my mind so that I uh, won't cause you so much trouble? Maybe even dance at your inauguration. Huge lamps of the 70s, tonight on Biography. Is it really worth it, Jeff? When did you change? It's so? dressed like a liquor distributor. It is worth it. Because I'm going to be president. Oh, oh you'll be president of my sure, butt. I know. Jeff Knight, the people's choice. <laughs> Damn it, where is the tape? I don't know, truly, I don't know. Maybe it's on the way back to your clone farm. Maybe it's on the way to the newspapers. Who knows? Smack on him. Sit on his head. Oh, they're going to write dork on his forehead. And Cain raised up and slew Abel. It was kind of like this because you're my brother. Get it? It's pentothal. I want the truth. I prefer Jack Perkins. There, I said it. Oh, that's very good. Well, that's a little uh, too sophisticated for you, isn't it? Who gives you your orders? Shut up. Certainly. After all, you're only doing your duty. 
someone threatens your spare parts bank, destroy them. It's clean, simple, neat. Close to all the shopping. It's going to be a bigger problem than Billy Carter. Mistakes were made, brothers were killed. <laughs> Shoot, mom's home. Sure. Ricky, get out. Right. I'm, I'm home. I'm, oh. Give me your posture medal. What are you doing? Bridget. Bridget? Leave her alone. Bridget. Bridget? <laughs> you dead yet? Okay, cut it out, you booger. Oh, I think they found the outrage. This is our ool. Notice there's no P in it. Soundtrack by Ingve Malmsteen. The God, country, and the queen. Boys, not in the house. Uh, this is about a lot more than super secret government clone projects. Ah, kill and release. The Secret Service is out front having a smoke. Tonight on Biography. Oh. He's not done. The poker didn't come out clean. Quick, rake the shag carpeting. Can I have a wet nap? Dale Evans wants her shirt back. <laughs> yeah. That's that. Turned on the gas. Stones, stones, whatever the hell they're called. Mini-skirted grandma. <laughs> that whole thing will soon be over. I made sure of that. Oh, and happy 50th anniversary. Yeah, I've been sitting here thinking about that young man. If I was 80 years younger, I would just... If everything they say about how he was born is true, it sure takes the fun out of it. <laughs> Why, Anna, you salty old lady. And I mean dehydrated. No, but I'm not being gay. <laughs> Soon, though, right? He will be all right, won't he? He has his whole life in front of him. Anna, he will be fine. Oh, boy. Here we go. That night boy is taking him back to his girlfriend. Everything's going to be fine. You don't have to worry about it. You mind if I just read the sports page? I wasn't just What's going on? Generic. Oh. Forgot about those cookies. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Grandma and Grandpa will be fine on their own. Brought to you by the Greater Nursing Home Council. Never store combustibles with your old people. Huh? Uh, later, a guy is somewhere in the dark doing something. <laughs> now this passes for a car chase in this movie. And step and dance and kickball change and yes. Maria! <laughs> Lena? Or extra Lena? <laughs> You know, this doesn't look like it's headed toward the happy ending. You know, any ending would make me happier than I've ever been. It's true. Lena. She sees a squirrel and wants to go out. When track coaches go bad. And they expect the audience to feel bad about this, I guess. Lena! Hi! Ooh, remember to duck when you go under helicopters. Yeah. Uh, let me guess, he's going to turn out his mouth and look depressed for a change. Welcome home, Richard. I'm sorry, Ollie. Did you like America? Well, I liked Horse with no name, but after that, I guess. <laughs> She's going to make a perfect mid-afternoon talk show host, at least. Bye. <laughs> Fellow delegates, our candidate is in the press room yeah. and will be joining us shortly. Lady's been killed. Your nominee, the next president of the United States. Biography! Biography! Yay! Hey, it's... Oh, I thought it was Dale. Oh, product placement. Now I'm going to buy NBC. Ladies and gentlemen. Does anyone have a kidney to spare? It is my pleasure this afternoon. Mm, Ted Turner. To introduce to you the next president of the United States. Army buckos. A man we all know and love. Senator Gravy Skin. The true people's choice. Gus Hall. Presidential nominee, Senator Jeffrey Knight. Arr. And his lovely family. Thank you, thank you. I was killing my brother earlier today, and don't take him. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you, George Walker. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, let's get right to the questions. Oh, uh, who's coming up this week on biography? Uh, Miss Grady. Grady! Senator Knight, what will your position be on the subject of human rights? 
Uh, well, you know, I talked a great deal about that during the campaign, but I think it's important to repeat it now. As president, my position will be that any suppression of rights or infringement of basic uh, liberties mm -hmm. are contrary Get to the it. foundations of this country <laughs> and as such cannot and will not be tolerated. Senator, I'm Brown from the Sun. Yes, uh, gentleman in the back. Bernie, Daily Sun. I love Bridget. Senator, could you please tell us about Clonus? Har? Uh, yes, definitely. Now, uh, Britt Hume, front row. I can barely hear my heart beating. I'm a sad clown. Ah, oh, boy, that clock never moves, does it? <sighs> ha! Was that a bad movie, or was I just in the wrong mood? Oh, we can leave. All right. <laughs> oh, wait. I, oh. oh, boy. Oh, boy. Executive producer Walter Fiveson was a good friend with supervising executive producer Ray Dryden. They grew up together in a log cabin with a woman involved in casting. That is Susan Arnold. But all was not as it seemed. The arrival of associate producer Peter R.J. Dial proved both groundbreaking and heart-wrenching for the young Liverpoolians. And then co-producer Michael Lee and Carolyn Haber and Michael Lee and Paul Berkowitz and Joe Giannani and Robert Cummings and Michael Land, Lacko and some other guys and Harvey Pence. Uh, uh, I'll take it, Mike. The oddly named Timory McCormick, young and brilliant production assistant, developed an unhealthy fixation on Joe Blasco, founder of the Joe Blasco Makeup School. Uh, I'll take it. Dwight Labors, a name known to millions, yet a dark mystery to even his closest friends. Tomorrow, the fascinating world of M.A. Ma Shreeman, who conquered his blindness to become one of the most sought-after visual consultants in the business. The film stylings of Brogan Depard, Brogan De, Paul Sharp and Ted Keep, two crisply named young men, tonight on Biography. Freeze Frame, the Jay Giles Band, synonyms in the hearts of Americans everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Peter Graves, the underrated, underpaid, incredibly handsome host of Biography, tonight on Biography. Tonight on Biography, Paulette Breen, who turned down perfectly innocent sexual advances from Peter Graves on the set of the movie Clonus, who will never work in this town again. James Mantell, in a striking coincidence, shared a first name with the hulking, expressionless pseudo-cowboy James Arness. James Arness. As a young boy, James Arness nurtured a howling bitterness in the face of the awesomely superior talent of his brother, Peter Graves. Peter Graves' life and career were marked by a generosity of spirit and loving attitude towards his fellow man, which were altogether missing in the pitted soul of James Arness. Often, James Arness' mother would remark to friends that she loved her son Peter Graves so very, very much, while she hated James Arness and cursed the day her womb had been blighted with such a creature. James Arness. Ugly and stupid. Tonight on Biography. That's, that's okay. That's as good as it you. gets. So Peter Graves. Biography. Agua. Yeah. Yeah. So. What do you think of my new nose job? It's downright Bruce Jennerian. Yeah, well, I went a little deeper than I might because I figured I could always add more later if I wanted. Uh, Mike Bobo's calling. What are you looking at? Please, Mike, keep it quiet. The evil orphan space children were very fussy getting down tonight. I think they're off their routine. Oh, well, I've got just the thing. I wrote a little night music inspired by a poem I've always loved. The words are, <clears throat> Sleep, oh, fair one, sleep. The night is low and drowsy. Your dreams are fair and deep. On Phoebus' tender wings rest all earthly things. Sleep, oh, gentle lamb, till morning Mother Sun does bring. That's beautiful. Okay, Mike. <laughs> you are so dead, Nelson. It is a John Agar film festival for you.
sure. 